let's just call this a sneak peek into what's coming up. This is uh, one of my drives. In the middle of all this corona and all that, today is a good day. My motors have arrived. And uh, yeah, this is two motors and three controllers and they all fit in a very small car. And so would all the batteries. <laughs> That's pretty amazing, isn't it? I, I, I shouldn't be opening these. I can't install them yet, but I'm gonna have to take some measurements and stuff and I simply can't uh, restrain myself. I wanna see what these things look like. And uh, yeah, that's what I, what's happening now. gonna be a long long technical rant here but I hope that's all right and uh, yeah this is not your traditional sail drive it's a it's something different <laughs> and I've got to see if it works or not but it ought to this uh, drive is designed for 19 horsepower, and uh, this motor is a 10 kilowatt uh, brushless electric motor with a 15 kilowatt peak. So I I would say this is a pretty decent match. Uh, I have a bit of fabrication to. To do to uh, ensure that the drive coupling works. Uh, one side is uh, well, the diameter of the shaft of the motor is different to that of the drive coupling, so I have to fix that. And then all of this from here will be encapsulated in a tube so that it can be raised and lowered uh, allowing me to fully retract this uh, this drive unit that's why I needed something that was this short uh, so when when retracted into the hull the boat only draws 45 centimeter so, the motor will be well above the waterline in a cylinder that obviously needs to be watertight. And uh, while driving, this will be lowered. The motor will Potentially be underwater, and uh, yeah, then this shaft or the seal here will keep water out. Uh, and this basically being a bucket from here to here. Watertight bucket with a very accurate seal here. And that should do it. Cylinder I'm gonna have to make to be able to take this in and out. Uh, will uh, 
be pretty big. Because I need to calculate that. Or I need to have the prop as well as the front of the motor mount uh, inside a circle or cylinder. So, all of this has to go into the boat. Yeah, and that clearly remains to be done. <laughs> so this is going to be the biggest hole I'm cutting yet. 